Sony Vegas number 10 I'm using number 10 Even though I hate it, yeah Sony Vegas 9 was good But number 10's newer So I'm gonna get it, yeah Super cool Super cool Yeah, yeah Okay, so here's Sony Vegas 10 Um, this can work on any Sony Vegas It really doesn't matter Basically You're gonna start off by going on here, obviously, the project properties Template will not be this because this is what I'm using for some reason. Uh, basically, you're gonna click this one here, and you're gonna find what you've recorded. And for example, I have recorded this. This is a very, very high def footage. It's the highest def I could get with Fraps because it's on max settings and the highest recording settings on Fraps. What it is is like can see 1920 by 1080. Field order will probably be upper field first because it's the highest def you can get. Uh, frame rate, another big thing. Don't just sit there and go, oh, it'll be better on that because I recorded it in that. If I render it in that, it will look better. No, no. Just get off of YouTube. Stop playing games. You don't know what you're going on about. If you're gonna, if you record something at 29.9 frames per second, and then you put it up to 59.94, you're gonna get all interlacing and the interlacing and just crap like that. Oh god, that's that's the big big problem with people to use. <coughs> oh. <coughs> um, excuse me. That is a very big problem when people use them um, dazzle capture cards. Uh, automatically people think, oh yeah, I'm recording 30 frames a second at uh, highest you can record, I think it's 480p. But don't worry because apparently um, you can actually turn it to 720p by rendering it into 720p which makes it 720p apparently which sort of just says everyone who bought HD PVR is a complete dick I'm, I'm not calling everyone a complete dick I'm just saying that's what people are, that's what people are being seen as because otherwise what's the point of buying a HD PVR if a dazzle can magically make it 1280 by 720p it can't so don't try keep it what frame rate you can um, pixel format 8 Best guys in Blenfields. I love it how I can just go and do rants and just continue on nicely. Start on those projects, obviously. Apply. Hit OK. Right, now you're going to go in. <coughs> oh, God, man. I got something in my throat. That's what she said. Um, and just drag a file over. And as you can see here, you're going to want to put it on best full. Best full, all the way. And just find a nice shot, such as. Oh, that looks quite good, actually. Let's try and find a nice sort of script. That does look good. Um, that one, or, oh, that's got some nice bright colours. Okay. Now, the one, the first thing you can do is go all the way down, and say, say you're going to do like a let's play of like a game, and all of the sort of colours are going to be the same. You're going to go into sharpen, and on the left, see which says reset to none. Just drag it over here on the left side. Now, put does it for every single video clip along the edge, and you click OK. As you can see, just look at the video. Blurry a little bit, sharp, nice, crisp. Blurry a little bit, nice and crisp. You really notice it here along these lines there. I'll show you one more time. There you go. Okay, uh, it's not a massive, massive thing, but it's noticeable. It looks so good when it's done. Next thing you're going to do is the unsharpened mask. Um, basically, you know. Drag a reset to none down, but then put in these settings. Uh, amount 286, radius 0231. And then, yeah. And I'll show you what this does. Have a look at the video. Oh. Sort of grainy feel over the top of it. Boom, nice and sharp. Brightens up those dark. Uh, <laughs> brightens up the brighters. I can't speak. Brightens the brighter parts, darkens the darkers. It just looks a lot better, grain. Just sharp, brings out the colour. Right, next thing we're going to do is go up to colour corrector first. No, no, we're not going to go in secondary and go studio RGB, computer RGB, be original. Actually use stuff. Drag a reset to none on, but copy these settings. Um, basically, as you can see here on the left, um, it may vary a little bit on your game, but if you just drag this far right one over, just a little bit to the left, just check out check out the colours, look, look at it now and look at that 
that's just a dull brown colour. This one's a nice bright orange. The green's brightening up, the yellow's brightening up. The oranges are looking good. The browns up there are looking a lot better. And it just looks so, so crisp. Now you've just completely beasted it over. Make sure you stay in best for you. Your PC may not be able to handle it. Obviously, when you play, you it table. should change itself. You deserve that much at least. Come. Don't be lying. I want you to learn why it is so many of your previews for. It normally changes it to like. There we go. It says half there. <laughs> okay. After this is done, select it all. File. Render as, and I know what you're going to be thinking. Um, you're going to be sitting there thinking, what does he use? Does he use WMV? Does he use MPEG4? What's he going to use? I'm going to use. Oh, you may have guessed it. You may have guessed it. You may have guessed it. Look where I'm heading. Look where I'm heading. Look where. I'm... Oh, yeah, that's it. AVI. Um, go on the default template. Obviously, here, this is where you're going to use. Your frame size will come up on its own, if obviously. Swear to God, if you're using 1280 by 720, don't just sit and go 1080, 1920 by 1080. There we go. That'll be better. No, it won't. I explained this already. Keep it the same. Frame rate. Keep it the same. Field order. Upper field first if you're using HD footage. Pixel aspect ratio. One. Video format uncompressed. As you can see down here, create this render alpha. Audio. Make sure this is selected as 48,000. Um, much better audio, obviously. Project video rendering best. And obviously, you're going to go up here, name it something, and save that template. Then, oh, I've already got one. Um, then, what you're going to do is you're going to hit save. But, 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 big but. I cannot lie. You're going to want to make sure you've got the hard drive space. Um, as you can see here, I've got 112 gigabyte free on this one. Now, rendering at this quality here, um, for the first time, if you've never done it before, you're going to be shocked, because I think a 4 minute clip at 1920 by 1080 so this is 1080p, uncompressed, 4 minute clip will be about 50 gigabytes. Yeah, that was 50 gig, not megabytes. 50 gigabytes for a 4 minute clip. Choose the hard drive with the most space. Okay, open it and save it there. Okay, now once you've done that, no, I don't want to save. Once you've done that, you actually get a giant, giant file. Like I said, uh, these ones have, haven't actually been affected, but as you can see here, 34 seconds for 2.08 gig. These haven't been done in Sony Vegas or anything. <clears throat> so once you've done that, you're going to download this program here called Easy. H.264. This is a really, really good compressor. Uh, you don't actually lose any, oh, actually, hardly any quality at all doing this. Obviously, you're going to have to lose some quality because it's compressing it, it's making the file size smaller. Blah, 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 blah. Could ramble on about this all day long. But you can select your file, and boom, there we go. Output, select it to your output. Okay, desktop will do. Video, FPS, once again. Keep it the same, and then preset. Depending on how big your file is and how quick you want to upload to YouTube, if you've got a 15 minute video, you're going to want to probably keep it around extreme, extreme pass. If you've got a 15 video, 15 video minute video with an absolute beast upload time, yeah, the biggest one you can get. Boom, right there. Start encoding. May take some time. Be patient. Okay, sit there. Wait for it to do its business, and then you'll get a file size such as this. This file here, I was talking to you about, it was... Let's see how long it is. That's what she said. Um, it's about, yep, like I said, about four minutes. This one file here... See, it doesn't look good there, because it's in Windows... No! It's in Windows Media Player, but just picture it in YouTube. Make the file size go down. And it will look... Beast. Can't really see it there though, so I'll probably upload this to YouTube as an example exemplar. As an example. Um this file size was fifty point four gig or fifty four gig. What is it now? Let's check it out. 199 megabyte. But like I said, that's only for four minutes, so if you've got a really big fast upload speed, then use the highest one like I did there. 
Um, but apart from that, guys, that is it. I, I don't think I could have covered anything else. And how long have I been recording for? This is a 36 minute tutorial. This is going to have to be a three part tutorial just on how to use fraps without lag. Every other tutorial I've seen is just a simple, what, like three minute video of just people going, use this quality, use this quality. That's it. You won't, you won't get lag. Oh no, that's funny because I did, you see. So, once again, guys. I don't think I could have covered anything else. If I have, then please feel free to write in the comments below. Um, this part of the video, I'm going to say, uh, feel free to like this video. Hell, in actual fact, I don't, I don't even like likes on my videos. I, I could care less. I would rather ha I'd rather much have 20 people comment on the video saying, thank you very much, it's like, really helped. You know, like, it solved my practice problems. Blah -de blah, guys, this works, or something like that, rather than having, say, like a hundred thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up tells you nothing, actually. It's giving you feedback, man. That's why, that's why I make these videos. I just, as you can see from how, how long was it? 36, 37 minutes now of me just rambling on about fraps, defragmenting stuff. I can do this for however long I want. I mean, I'm just, well, I mean, what? It's 10 past 10, like uh, in the evening. I can do this for however long I want. I really don't mind. So, like I said, guys, please feel free to comment, see if it actually works, test it, tell others that it works. Um, what else can I talk about now? Um, if you've got any other, any questions, if it, if it doesn't work, just please feel free just to comment or even send me a message saying, look, really sorry, it, it didn't work, do you reckon you're about to help me out even further? Yeah, I will. You don't understand how many... I mean, one of the videos I uploaded was how to get your NNT open. I've had, what, like, 20-something thousand views on it, and every day it gets a new comment. And say, like, one every three, like, one in every three days, it gets a comment saying, it, it didn't work, sorry. And I respond to that comment straight away saying, what's your router? What make model is it? And then as soon as they send me that, I go into Google. I search up how to do it, I, I try and find out, and I let people know, I don't just sit there and just give up on it, I mean, what's the point of uploading this tutorial, if you're not going to give feedback, um, but yeah, like I said, feel free to comment, feel free to ask for any help, and guys, subscribe for more videos, um, going to be doing a Crisis 2 Let's Play as soon as possible, what is the date, the date is officially 24th, so the game was released today, I believe, in Europe. Uh, it's only actually just gone live on Steam, I think. Uh, we could actually go and check that now, but I can't bother. So, yeah, stick around for that. I've got loads of stuff, Minecraft, Half-Life 1's doing to get finished off uploading. I'm trying to get... Uh, oh, what is it? BT... Fiber optic -y fast broadband thing we get like up to 10 meg uploads so I can actually upload a hell of a lot in a day. God, that would be so epic. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to end this video now. Um, I really do hope this helped you out. 40 minutes. Oh my god, that's so epic. And I will see you guys in the next one very soon. See you then, guys. Goodbye.